Welcome to Youth Friday, a special day when we celebrate the wonderful gift that all of you are to our diocese. A few months ago, Pope Francis gathered with young people from all over the world in Rio for the World Youth Day celebration. He gave a message to all young people saying, go, do not be afraid, and serve. Pope Francis tells us that when we realize how much God loves each one of us, and when we have an experience of feeling part of a community of faith, we must not keep this to ourselves. He tells us that faith is like a flame that grows stronger the more it is shared. So we must go to others and share what we have received. Some of you might think, how could I do this? I wouldn't know how. But God tells us not to be afraid. When we set out to tell others about our faith, Christ goes with us and helps us. And then Jesus did not say, one of you go, but all of you go. Don't forget that we are part of the church. When we face challenges together, then we are strong. We discover resources that we didn't know we had. Jesus called the first apostles to work together in a group, and he calls us to be part of a group too, in our school, in our parish, and whenever we come together to share our faith. Perhaps we are part of the Lord's youth, or we go to the source, or the summer festival, or a retreat at the youth village. Whenever there is an opportunity to be with others in faith, I encourage you to take it. Do not be afraid. Thirdly, we are asked to serve. How do we serve? We do this in many ways through our care for others at home and at school and in our parishes. But today, I want to ask you to serve in a special way as part of the family of our diocese. Youth Friday invites all of you to take part in Contribute, which calls you to serve by contributing your time, your talent, and your treasure. Our youth service is called the Youth Ministry Team. YMT is the way we come together as a diocesan family to serve young people of all ages and help them live out Pope Francis' invitation to grow in their faith, free from fear, and be effective ambassadors of the good news. Some of you have met the youth ministry team at the youth village during your school mission, or at other events such as The Source. My name is Philip Salkeld, I work for the youth ministry team as retreats coordinator. I first heard about YMT in 2005 when I went to a couple of conferences and then they actually did a mission in my school in St. Leonard's. I suppose the biggest impact that YMT has had on me is, is my faith. Uh, and through discovering my faith and discovering my relationship with God, it's helped me to develop a confidence. YMT is providing an awesome opportunity for young people to really uh, discover their faith. And in discovering their faith uh, and their relationship with God, they can start to discover their purpose. and. I think that's really, really important. YMT changed my life uh, in so many ways because I wouldn't be the person I am today without YMT. People that have contributed uh, their, their time, their talents and their treasure to the work that we do, I just have a huge, I just want to say a huge thank you uh, because it's changed my life and it'll change the lives of so many others. Today is a day to celebrate all you bring to our church by the time that you give and the great gifts that you have. And it is also a time for us to help support the work of our diocesan youth service by spending some time using our talents to fundraise so they can continue their great work. On this Youth Friday, I want to thank all those who support you on your faith journey, your families, your school communities, your local parishes, and the youth ministry team. Most of all, I want to thank you, the young people of our diocese, for all you do to share your faith and your gifts with others. May God bless you.